Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Trading Places and this movie came out in 1983 and it's directed by John Landis and it stars Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd and Jamie Lee Curtis and I like this movie. I thought it was funny and what I mostly get out of this movie is just uh, the fun characters that I like and it has a nice pace to it. Everything feels natural like in terms of like how characters would operate and the story and as far as the story goes it's serviceable it's not like super impressive as to like what's going on it doesn't blow my mind it's it's there it's just there as an excuse to have all these things happen and the performances were really good i really liked it dan Aykroyd, eddie murphy and jamie lee curtis like those three are the best parts of the movie for me and the comedy in this movie was funny. It, it wasn't really a, really funny until uh, the last 30 minutes uh, where I was uh, laughing a lot more, but uh, most of it, uh, it was uh, kind of chuckle worthy at most. And like, haha, that's kind of funny. And the trading places element of the movie, uh, that part I liked. And I enjoyed uh, how it, our two main characters were living out uh, trading places like a one's rich one's poor and they just kind of swap because of the plot and uh, what it does to them and I enjoyed uh, how uh, both of those characters <laughs> handled their situation it was fun and Eddie Murphy he uh, brings uh, some really fun moments uh, to the film <laughs> and I love uh, his character how he just improvises so many times and he just is able to get himself out of uh, these situations like he has to think fast and to make something happen really quickly. And I really loved his quick thinking in the movie. And that's uh, what uh, makes his character really fun and interesting. <laughs> like to watch. Just uh, watch this uh, uh, character uh, do all these uh, different things. Uh, but pull them off perfectly basically. And he can't afford to mess up. Because if he does, everything goes wrong. And uh, Dan Aykroyd, uh, what really helps uh, me uh, throughout the movie while watching his character is that uh, he's uh, very much uh, used to a high-class society. And uh, to watch him uh, be uh, down in the dumps and uh, have, like, no money at all, just to uh, try to figure out a way to get his life back on track. And uh, he has to uh, crash with Jamie Lee Curtis uh, because that's all he can do. <laughs> and I enjoyed uh, the relationship between him and... Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. In terms of issues that I have, uh, when it comes to uh, the story and uh, linking scenes together, there isn't a whole lot that links them together. Like, what I mean by that is that we go from one scene to the next scene, and it kind of feels like they're just loosely together for me. It kind of feels like this was just pulled from any movie that uh, just coincidentally had uh, these actors and or characters. And it's like, oh, okay, this is happening. It just kind of felt like it came out of nowhere at a couple points in the movie. There isn't a whole lot else to say about this movie. If you like the comedy, then this movie will work for you. If you don't like it, then this movie probably won't work for you. And uh, there isn't really a whole lot going on. And it uh, knows uh, what it wants to achieve. And it works. And uh, by the end of the day, it's a good movie for that. And... Uh, I would recommend that you would check it out. And with all that being said, I'm going to give Trading Places a 6 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of Trading Places and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Back to the Future. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, Thank you for watching and have a great day.